to create a regular title or perhaps a scrolling text in Adobe Premiere CS6 or CC, you will simply select your title menu, select new title, and then default still. Here you'll have a window appear. You will need to name your title if you don't want them to get confused. So I'll call this regular title and select on OK. Once you do that, you'll see this window which shows your present video in your timeline along with the options for your title. Now you'll already be selecting on the window here to create your title. So you already have a cursor and it'll be ready for your title. And I'll put in a title. So this is my title. Now right now on the upper left hand side of this panel or window, you will see that you have your text, what type of text, the size. So for example, if I highlight this now, I'll go ahead and highlight my text because I want to change the type of font that I have. I select here on the upper left corner again of this panel. And then I can scroll through the different types of text options that I have. So you can select anything you want and they will all be available to you. Now once I select a text on the right of that, you will see where I have the options for bold, italic. So if I select on bold, there it is. Now in order for me to move this, let's say I want it to be in the center of my uh, canvas here, or I should say my program monitor, I will select the selection tool. So be mindful that on the right hand side you have a toolbar and you want to select on the selection tool. Once you have that, then you can go ahead and move this back to where it is you wish. If you want to go ahead and manipulate the text again, you have to select the text option and then highlight your text once again. And that will allow you to make the changes. Make sure you select all the text that you wish to change. So for example, now here on the top of this panel where it says 100, which is to the right of bold and italic, I can select on there by clicking and holding, I can drag left and right and my text will go ahead and manipulate. Be mindful that this is manipulating from the left side because it's left aligned. So to the right of that, you will see the three options for center, right, and left alignment. Select on center alignment if you wish for this text to be manipulated from the center, and that is the case here. So once again, once you have the size that you want, and now you want to put it to the center, Make sure you select your selection tool once again and then center that. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and close this window. And what you will see in your project panel on the bottom right hand side will be your text. So here it is. It's called This Is Awesome and then the name of it is Regular Title. Should you want to manipulate that, double click on it and once again this panel will open up or this window will open up and you will see your different options for your text. Once you have that, you can go ahead and drag that to your correct spot and then you'll see your title over your video. To create a scrolling text, what you will do is you'll go ahead and go back to your title menu, select a new title, and you will see here it says default role. Here you'll have the window once again, and I'll select to type in here, put credits. And these will be my credits at the end of my video. Once again, we'll get our project, uh, our title panel and you'll start selecting to type in your text. So if I select here, I'll select to put my text here. Now you can always copy and paste. So if you have your titles already made in another program, simply copy them and then paste them here and that'll be done automatically here. But if I don't have anything already prefabricated, I'll go ahead and name this. So I'll go ahead and type in uh, produced 
Bye. And then spaces and then, you know, some kind of name. Again, if I want to change the size of it, I can certainly do that. Let's see, what else should we put directed? Bye. And... How about that? Now again, this is left aligned. So be mindful of that. If that is not the case, make sure that you go back to your title option, highlight, and then change this to center alignment so that with these things are center aligned. If you need to make changes to that, go ahead and do so. So again, all the options that you want are there. Once you do that though, you have to make sure that you give the program instructions of what to do and what not to do. So, for example, if I were to put this into my timeline, it will do absolutely nothing. So, I'll go ahead and bring this in. And you will notice that when I play this, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. It's supposed to be a roll credit or a scrolling credit. You have to double click on it. And the option here is on the upper left hand side. So on the panel, you'll see here it says new title. And then to the right of that here, it says roll crawl options. You will get this window. Let me move this so we can see it clearly. And then you'll see it says roll. But here is the secret where it says timing frames. You have to select on start off screen and end off screen and click on OK. Once I close this, if I were to go here now and I were to play this, you will see that it goes ahead and scrolls or rolls through the option. So that's how you create and manipulate the timing of your scroll of your text. Now, one thing I want to mention before I go I, is if you want to change the timing, if you were to extend this, you will slow down the timing. So be mindful of that, that in order for you to increase or decrease the speed of your text, you either increase your other increase or decrease the length of your clip and that will manipulate your timing thanks for watching making the reel